Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, it is time to draft another team. However, this time, it's going to be the Finnish Elite League. Uh, Liga, I believe it's pronounced. So, uh, Fantasy Draft will be on, believe it or not. And CPU trades will be off, because we want to see who drafts the best team. We'll just do standard roster control, I suppose. Uh, I don't really know what that means. Would that mean, like, you get to sort of do, like, a minor league team as well, or... Hmm, I'm not sure how that would work. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're going to go with the usual method of overall, and it seems like we don't have a team that we can pick there, because we have two at 70, and no one is higher than that. Okay, do we have a lowest rated team? 60. Oh no, 57. That is pretty low. Yeah. All right. I guess we're using um, that team. I don't even know how to pronounce our own team. I'm sorry. But, yeah. We're going to be running it here. Let's go to game settings real quick. I need to go to rules and make sure that people are not allowed to be injured. And I need to go to advanced settings, I think. Uh, blockbuster trade alert, sure. Trade off notifications, doesn't matter. Well, actually, no, because these are all off anyway. So it doesn't actually matter at all. Head coach edit lines, no. Stay away from me. And quick settings, anything I need to change here. I just don't like autosave. It's kind of annoying. And I mean, it's very convenient, but yeah, it can be annoying for the purpose of what I'm doing. So yeah, let's go ahead and start the season, shall we? I didn't even get to guess a pick. I totally forgot to do that, but it wouldn't have been 15. I'll tell you that for free. Okay, so let's see. Who went first overall? Um... <laughs> I'm not going to know how to pronounce any of these names. Holy crap. All right. Um, Salamaki. I think I got that one down, Pat. Mika. All right. Two-way forward. He is 75 overall. Pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Medium bottom six potential. Shoots left. He can be a good first pick. Goalies. Um, Blumquist. Oh my goodness. He is a real guy. <laughs> He's actually real. All right. Now I kind of feel like I have to take him, but no, I can't. Because I am taking um, Salamaki. Boom. There you go. Get on the team. Uh, oh, we get another pick. So that's beautiful. I forgot. It's Snake Draft. So that means I'm taking him after all. Boom. Nice. 72 overall goaltender. That is a thing of beauty. I think there's any like high potentials here. Medium top six. Only 60 overall, though. That is a no for me. Medium top four defenseman, who's 71 overall. He is 27. Oh, it's Jordan Schmaltz. Interesting. Okay. Well then. Uh, no. Let's go to overall again. Uh, Lalonde. Sean Lalonde. He is a offensive defenseman. Sure. Sure, why not? We get back-to-back -back picks here as well. So, who shall I take this time? Uh, Imonen? <laughs> Yarko? Perhaps? He is 39. Holy... What a legend. And he's still carrying on. Maybe. We do need a centerman, to be fair. Yeah. We also kind of need a right winger. Right wing sniper. That shooting category, not spectacular, though. Considering. Ooh. All right. Let's 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 go with the, uh, the centerman here. Sure. Christian Kusala. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I've set my disclaimer again. I'm sorry. I just do not know how to pronounce these names, but I'm trying my best here. And a right wing sniper. Is this this is the guy anyway? He just didn't get taken. So yeah, it's the the same guy. What about Henrique? He's also a sniper. That shooting category does not scream sniper to me either, though. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll go with Christian. Because we do need a right winger. We also could use another defenseman. He shoots right as well. Okay, I'm grabbing him if. Our current defenseman shoots left. No, he shoots right. Interesting. Okay. Well then. What about Arel? Nicholas. He shoots left. To a defender. Okay. Let's grab him. And I think we get back-to-back -back picks again. I'm pretty sure we always get back-to-back -back picks. So I'm going to take Christian now. And that will give us our starting lineup. Nice. That's a good way to get this draft started. Okay. Uh, Johnston, we could take another right-handed defenseman here. 
Defensive defenseman, which we had none of last time. That'd be sick. Beck? Colton Beck. Hmm, maybe. He is a left winger. Collins? A centerman. 78 faceoffs. He looks pretty good. Poise is low, but decent skating. Decent physicality. Okay. Yeah, let's grab Collins. Why not? I'm going to grab Johan here. 90 discipline. Beautiful. Uh, pretty good shot power as well. Physicality is not bad. And he is a two-way defender. So, and a left-handed two-way defender at that. Okay, nice. So that will be our third defenseman. We still need a bunch of players here. Holy, okay, we're not even getting close. Um, is there any, like, stud players that I should maybe be considering drafting? Uh, they're in the 50s here, but... I mean, that's not, you know, awful. Could be worse, right? Maybe? Almost a 60 overall player there. All right, we're going to continue to go by overall here. Yeah, I'm probably missing out on some guys, but it is what it is. Back to overall. We, oh, Pooley, what a cool name. Scott Pooley. That's, uh, is this the guy that James is always referencing when he says, you Pooleys or whatever he says? Maybe. Right wing, two-way forward. Yeah, sure, why not? Why not? And we get another pick here. Okay. Sapala. <laughs> that is not how it's pronounced. I almost guarantee it. But Michael might have that kind of correctly. So, two-way defender. He shoots left as well, which is kind of unfortunate. So maybe I will avoid that for now. Um, left wingers. We could take Pilstrom. Anti-Pilstrom. He is a two-way forward. Not bad. Hmm. Kind of like power forward. And this guy was drafted too, you know? Six foot eight. Holy crap, Marco. Yeah, welcome to the team. All right, I'm going to take Vili because he is a right-handed defenseman. Two-way defender. Sure. Why not? That is going to be our top two pairs of defensemen now. We have our first and second offensive line. We could maybe take a backup goalie sometime soon. Why is this guy still chilling here? What on earth? All right, well, I will take you then. I don't know why no one else was taking you. Like the island of misfit toys over there. But I will certainly grab you for the team. And now I need to make some more picks here. Who should I take is the real question. Should I start drafting some like, let's see, let's go start by potential again. 63. Oh, wow, he's 35 though. He is not a young gun. Um, uh, anyone here that is, okay, Inala, Yeri, Jer, <laughs> I'm not sure, one of the two, sure, why not, welcome to the team, and I will take Asplund for our third line center position, boom, all right, we're, we're gonna be a good team, a lot of these other teams are drafting like 50 overall players, and why do I feel like somehow they're gonna get like a pointy game player to the max, and we're gonna get like 20 points out of the highest person I don't know we'll see but anyway we still need a right winger by the looks of it uh Yormaka Pekka Yormaka is a sniper not bad sure why not go ahead and pick him up and we need our fourth line and our final defensive pairing so you know let's uh let's let's try to draft some young players here just because we can why not and what about Kevin Maki? He's 21. Drafted by Detroit in the seventh round. Two-way forward. 55 overall. Hmm. It's not bad, but could be better, maybe. What about this man? So he was drafted by the Oilers in the sixth round. He's a centerman. 57 overall. Yeah, sure. You can be our fourth line center. Welcome to the Squadrant. All right, let's sort by potential again here, just to uh, make things interesting. I mean, it's not like, you know, <laughs> we're not getting any stud players back here or anything. Uh, that is a name, if I've ever seen one. I'm going to call you Kasperi. You have not been drafted. You're another centerman. Okay, so never mind. Don't need you. Anybody else here? Jolie. Michael Jolly. 
He is a sniper. Fourth line sniper, why not? You know? Could be. 61 overall. Undrafted. Yeah, why not? Let's go. And then for the final pick, I'll just take Pilstrom. Well, not the final, final pick, but our final forward pick. And now I need two defensemen. My allergies are kind of being weird. They're like off and on. Ronnie Ahonen, Ahonen, <laughs> is a two-way defender who shoots left. So we will pick him up for the team. And now we need a right defenseman. Right-handed defenseman, I should say. Let's scroll down here. Okay, we're in trouble. Never mind. We've got a right-handed defenseman right here in Sean Heshka. Yeah, sure do. Undrafted. Beautician. He is a two-way defender. Why not? All right, there we go. There's the team. Let's go put these lines together and see if we're going to be any good. Continue. And there is the draft summary. Here we go. We're making the playoffs, guaranteed. That is a guarantee. All right, so here's our team. I'm trying to figure out if this is everyone I drafted or not. I think so. Um, they actually did not have uh, Inla in. They had Tika. So, yeah, I put uh, him back on the team here. Defensively, Heska, yep. Okay, I think we're all good here. Pretty sure this is everyone that I drafted. Cool. And in net, we've got... Wait, was it? Yeah, it was Joel Blomqvist. I'm pretty sure. So anyway, um, yeah, there's our goalies. So let's do this thing. I'm going to say that Salamaki gets the most points. He's getting... He is getting... Point a game. I'm going to say he gets exactly point a game. All right? And then we're making the playoffs. That is my estimate here. Okay. Let's do this thing. We're off to a pretty hot start here. So it seems like Wednesdays and weekends are the game days for the Finnish Elite League. And so far, we're doing pretty solid. I mean, we're not running away with it or anything. But yeah, we are having a good year. We are currently in first. Well, sort of battling. But yeah, we're up there at least, which is the important thing. Okay, we're going on a big win streak there. It's looking like... Oh, no, we might not win the league. We didn't. I don't think we did. I am pretty sure that they bested us at the very end there. Oh, my goodness. Pilstrom had the most points with 45. What the heck? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Got to go to the other one for some reason. Anyway, we'll go to this one quick. So, we finished with a record of 29-17, 7-7. So, overtime wins have its own category. Okay. And, yeah... We ended up getting bested by a bit. Holy. They had 118 points. That is wild. Good for them. Okay, well, 45 points was the highest from us here in 60 games. Uh, Salamaki only got 33. That's odd. But anyway, uh, I'll just kind of go through the whole team here. There you go. And if we go to our goalies, uh, Blumquist, a 916, 205. And holy. Eero. No one was grabbing you. And you ended up getting a 932-170 for me with three shutouts in only 17 games. That is wild. Five shutouts for Joel. Okay, Hammerhead's legend. Let's check out the entire league, shall we? Boom. Here we go. So Bertrand was the only player to go point a game. He's a 69 overall right winger. I don't get it, man. This game's weird sometimes. All right. Um, Alex Broadhurst. Also... Pretty close to point a game. He got 58. Okay, so this team dominated. That's probably the team that won, right? I'm assuming the league. They won the season anyway. All right. Well, there you have it. That is the... Actually, I want to go to forwards. So this is all the forwards who led the league this year. Okay. And defense. Here's the defenseman that did well. Yes, sir. And in net. We got Nico Hovenen, who got a 9-10, 2-24, and he went 33-13-2 with six shutouts. Pretty good. E2. Lorikainen. Nice. Uh, Joel is right there, which is nice. And there we go for goalies. Okay, let's sim the playoffs and see what happens. So I guess we kind of get a buy in the first round or whatever, the play-in kind of thing, the pool. So uh, here we go. Now it is time for the playoffs. 
Let's see if we can take home the W. Here we go. Oh my word. You're joking. You're joking. We actually get swept in the first round. Oh my days. Wow. You really do hate to see it. We were a point a game from Asplin. Guy got four goals in four games. Pretty solid. Uh, that's not the one I wanted to go to. Oh, we had two point a game players there. If you look again, we also had Marco. Nice. He put up four points in four games. How'd our goalie do? Not great. Not great, Joel. At all. Those are some TJ numbers right there. Actually, more like some Tino Manny numbers, but still not great. Okay, well, let's check out the player stats in the playoffs. Just see who did what and go to the entire league. Sort by forwards. So, yeah, Ollie ripped it up. Guy got 15 points in 18 games. Same with Roadwald. Let's go, Jack. And there you go. All right, let's check out the defensemen, shall we? There you have it. Wow, 15 points from Otto. What a legend. Okay, nice. There is the defense leaders for the playoffs and then goalies. There you go. Uh, Laura Kainen just ripped it up. A 151-937. Legendary performance from him. Okay, well, that was fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Uh, yeah, I had a good time and mispronounced a lot of things probably. But anyway, I'm sure you guys will let me know about that. But I tried my best. I did what I could. And thank you guys for watching. Let me know what league you want to see next. Maybe we could go to the CHL leagues like the OHL, WHL, QM, JHL. But yeah, we will leave it up to you guys. I'll see you soon.